Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you some really cool hacks that you can do in Bop City for free. So the first place we're heading to is the hair salon and I literally love this hack, it's so cute. So all you're going to do is get a monster of choice. I'm choosing these two just for example, but anyways you're going to go and sit them on the little chest to get your hair done and you can give them any haircut you want which i think is super adorable and you can use this on any monster you want you can also use it on regular talker characters but it's just super cute on the little monsters and yeah so you can do any hairstyle you want i think i've already said that but yeah i literally love this hack because it's so cute i don't usually use it but yeah it's just cute and then i just um tried some more hairstyles i mean like there's so many hairstyles to experiment with and yeah you can just go crazy i guess um what i gotta say for this is like it's super adorable and i definitely recommend trying it out because like it's so cute i love it anyways let's move on to the next hack so this hack is actually a building hack it's actually quite funny in my opinion but anyways so you're gonna go to the bathroom section and you're gonna go and grab a toilet um, you can use any toilet for this hack, but I just use the free one to keep everything free. And you're also going to go and get this green little firework, I guess it is. And you put it behind the toilet. And then, I think you know where this is going, but it's still really funny. You want to click off the building mode and set your character on the toilet. And then when you press on it, green gas come up, which is so funny hilarious but anyways let's move on to the next hack which is actually in the post office and you want to go to the shelves i literally love the post office because you can find anything you want in there and it's literally so cool and unbelievable that it's actually free but anyways you're just gonna go and scroll um until we find what we're looking for which is actually this little green chameleon which is so cute and adorable and then we just go and take our character to the little food area with the chameleon and you can go to any place but we're gonna go to the little coffee like slash like cakes and sweet shop and we're gonna feed it to our green chameleon and you'll see it eventually starts changing colour, which I think is awesome. I didn't know this hack until I watched it on YouTube. And I literally think it's so cute and cool. It's literally the coolest hack ever and I love it. It's definitely worth trying because it looks so cool. Like, look, it's changing all the different colours, which I love. But anyways, let's move on to the next hack, which is actually in this little... I don't know dumpster area i don't know what you call it but um yeah we're just gonna go here and we're gonna go and get the bat and then we're gonna go and take our character to the post office once again um so let's just go there and then when you get there you're gonna go and take your character out obviously and then you're going to go and wrap your bat in the little wrapping area. You can wrap your bat anywhere, but, you know, this is just keeping things free for you guys. Because, like, you know, yeah, it's just more easier. And then you want to go to this little house. And you want to go and get your character out, obviously. And go into the building mode. Um... And you're just going to go and get little, like, hangers. I don't know what you call it, but just, like, hangers that go on the wall. And you're going to go and get the little bat in the, like, box. And you're just going to, like, hold... <laughs> it's hard to explain, but you just, like, put it up on the wall and then press it while it's up there. Um, It's hard to explain, but it's super cool once you get the hang of it. Um, I think you can only do it when it's on the present, but even hanging it on the little hook is so adorable. And here's a little clip of my character getting scared of the bat. I've actually never seen a bat in real life, but um, I don't know if I would like to because they're pretty scary. But anyways, this hack is super cute and definitely worth trying. Every hack is definitely worth trying because... 
which is really cool. Anyways, the next hack we're going into the floople prey floople place I mean and we're gonna get our character obviously and then we're gonna go and take this little picture of the frame to reveal this really cool gem and it's not a regular gem it's got lots of different colors which I think is super cool but anyways we're just gonna go and grab our character and um we're gonna go and put the picture back first but we're gonna go and grab our character and go to the post office okay so let's get our character and we're gonna go and switch all the lights off for this effect and um i think this hack is really cool definitely worth um trying um but we're just gonna go and turn it into night time we want it to be darkest as possible um oh yeah so here we're just switching all the lights off and as you can see, our gem has actually turned into kind of like a torch. Like if you shine it on anything, they will turn light, which I think is super cool. And like you can like put it on anything and I think you get the hang of it. It just like lights things up and it looks really cool in the darkness. And yeah, you can also get this light in the dark outfit for free and i think it's super cool because you can like be all light i don't know how to explain it but you know like look it's just like so adorable and i love it but um yeah we're just gonna go and put our character in her normal clothes and let's move on to the next hack so the next hack we're actually gonna be going into the supermarket I think the supermarket is probably my favourite place in Bob City. But yeah, we're just going to go into the supermarket. And we're going to go and get our character, obviously. Because, like, we need her for every hack. Well, actually, do we need her for every hack? I mean, I don't think so. But, like, it's just easier having a character, isn't it? Um, and we're going to go and get her out. And now we're going to take her to the little grocery side. Um, like, <laughs> if this uh screen was to move i guess but anyways we're gonna go and get the fish um yeah and now we're gonna take our character out of the supermarket and we're gonna go to the post office once again and we're gonna go and get our character out once again i feel like this um video is kind of rep repetitive but anyways it doesn't matter because we're learning new hacks over here but anyways, we're just going to turn all the lights on because, you know, I don't like darkness. And we switched all the light off because we wanted a glow in the dark effect. But yeah, now it's time to switch all the lights back on. And we're going to go um, to this little card stand and get the little kind of like card that is blue and has a little red heart on it. So adorable. But anyways, we're going to go and take our character out of the um, post office with our card and our fish and yeah so yeah let's take our character out of the um post office and let's go to the little i'm just gonna start calling this place dumpster i don't know what it's called so yeah maybe like a little bit of stretch but anyways we're gonna go with our um little card and our fish and you might think this is a little bit weird because like why is she holding a fish and a card um but anyways it doesn't matter because you know it's it's part of the hack and i think this hack is also real cool but anyways um you're gonna find someone um specifically this person um he has like he has a uh, I don't know, he'll just be easy to spot. He has, like, grey hair. And he's normally wearing, like, cat ears and stuff. But I don't know why he's not. But anyways, um, we're just gonna... Where did the fish go? I was too busy talking. I didn't see where the fish went. Oh, my gosh. What are we gonna do? This whole hack needs the fish. Okay. I think we're gonna have to look for the fish first. Because I literally 
was busy talking i didn't see where the fish went but that's okay i don't know if we're gonna find it though so let's just go back to the supermarket and get a new fish this is literally so annoying like i got the fish and everything ready to do the hack and now we just have to get the fish back it is just like so like it's so annoying i don't know if this happens to you guys but it's like so annoying but anyways now we got a new fish we can do the hack Ugh, finally we need to go to the place first but anyways we're gonna go and get our character and finally do the hack how many times have i said that but anyways i'm so excited for this hack because i saw it and it's so cool so we're just gonna go and um kind of like hand the things to the boy um and you get this really cute crumpet at the end of it it's so adorable and i love it it's definitely worth it and yeah so adorable you end up with a crumpet there's also so many other recipes for like making crumpets and stuff and i just recommend doing it that sounds weird i just said there's so many recipes to make crumpets like, because crumpets are, are a food where I live. Um, but anyways, next hack. You get a snake and you put it on top of the slob in the little um, grocery store. And it turns into, a, like, a sloth snake. I don't know. I just thought this hack was cool. And scary and funny at the same time. And here's a little clip of the snake slash sloth um, chasing everyone in the shop i just thought it was really funny because like it looks weird like there's a snake on top of the sloth and um yeah it's 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 funny it's funny and scary at the same time like I, d I don't know what to think about it but yeah we'll just class it as funny because i don't know um you also have this stick um I don't know, it's a weird looking stick because the twigs are pointing everywhere. And these little balls, they look like a nest and you can put it on top of like a twig, which is so cool. And you just have to take everything out and it looks like a bird's nest and it's so adorable. You can put any pet in there and I just, I love it. I love it so much. It's so cute. You can put this in your house and I don't know, it's so adorable. It looks like a little bird's nest and yeah. But anyways, I think we've come to an end of the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And yeah, that's all from me. Bye!